This episode is sponsored by Earth Charter International. More about that after the video. Hey, baby. The jets are up again. Hey guys, what's up? It's Pascal. Demo. Art of Adventure. You know how we do. Welcome back to our channel. Yes, indeed. We are back in the Ocala National Forest, this time at a spring called Salt Springs. What'd you know about Salt Springs? This has some amazing qualities. We're going to show you the three big things you need to know before you go. And stick around. Bonus adventure time, y'all. What? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. If you like being in or around the water, Florida is the place for you. Besides having more than 800 miles of coastline, the state is also home to hundreds of freshwater springs. Just between Orlando and Jacksonville, you can visit five springs inside the Ocala National Forest. They all sit within a 30 minute drive. The northernmost of the bunch is Salt Springs. Prices always seem to change on me, but right now it's $12 per person for a day pass at the spring. Salt Springs frequently reaches capacity on weekends, especially during the summer months. But on a weekday, even after Memorial Day, oh my goodness, it's 9.30 and we are the only people in the lot. That's what planning does for you. You can see a little bit of planning goes a long way. Let's get to it. The parking lot is not far from the spring head. It's an easy walk on a paved path, but if you have floats, coolers, and water gear, you may want to bring a dolly. We love ours. The park is gorgeous. Lots of trees, you can find picnic tables and grills scattered about. All first come, first serve. All right, we're really here for the water and there are a lot of great qualities. So here goes. Salt Springs is 72 degrees year round. It has a large swimming area, 190 feet by 130 feet. The north, west, and south sides of the pool are surrounded by a concrete wall. There are four spring vents that flow through the limestone floor. It's crazy, you actually do taste the salt in the water. The minerals in the water help make salt springs one of a kind. The water is fresh from the Florida aquifer, but it rises through the ancient salt deposits bringing minerals like potassium, magnesium, and sodium to the surface. Don't worry though, it doesn't feel salty. And check this out. Despite being an hour from the coast, the salinity in the water allows blue crabs to flourish at salt springs. You're not allowed to hunt them here, and you're not supposed to touch them, so you'll see plenty tucked in the crevices of the limestone especially right near the deep vents. Okay, Mo, you gotta come see this. Some of the crabs are pretty big, like the size of a dinner plate. Mo's a little uneasy at first. It takes him a second to spot the crab lingering right under him. Then, <laughs> yeah, he sees it. <laughs> <laughs> too funny. The crabs are pretty skittish and their pinchers are small. I don't think you have anything to worry about. The blue crabs share the spring head with lots of fish, including these big schools of striped bass. I do a lot of spring hopping and I think this is one of the best spots to see fish. Salt Springs is very much alive. It's also a great spot for families even with small kids. Salt Springs recently made our list of top family-friendly springs for several reasons. 
first is shallow, only an average depth of about three or four feet. The set of steps closest to the spring run will put you in the water where it's only about a foot or two deep. It's sandy here too, so it's easy to sit with the kids or just splash around. In fact, most of the swimming area is sandy, so you don't have to worry about water shoes or sharp rocks. Now, it is rocky and a bit deeper the closer you get to the spring bends. Salt Springs has such a unique texture because of the limestone that stretches up through the sand. The rocks can get slippery, so this is a spot where I would recommend water shoes. But of course, a mass fins and snorkel are really all you need to see this spring in all its beauty. Here's another reason it's family friendly. Tubes and smaller rafts are allowed. The current that leads to the spring run is not bad at all, so you don't have to worry about floating right out of the pool area. Third, there's a walkway that follows the edge of the water. So it's easy to keep an eye on the family even when you're not in the water with them. Just keep in mind, there are no lifeguards at Salt Springs. Hey, baby. Hey. How you doing over here? I'm pretty good. Just enjoying the, the this. Yeah. This. I love being out here. These springs are massive. Okay, disclaimer time. We found out the hard way they don't let you hang hammocks from the trees anymore. So now we all know. And while we're on the subject of what you can't do at Salt Springs, here's a big one. There is nowhere to launch a kayak or paddleboard unless you're staying at the campground. I am not a fan. I feel like this spring needs a small launch spot right near the spring run. If you do want to paddle, your best bet is to drive next door to the Salt Springs Run Marina. There's a little boat ramp, and you can rent kayaks and canoes right there. The Spring Run is an adventure all in itself. It's a four and a half mile run to Lake George. Today it's very windy, but usually the current is calm, and it's a chill paddle to and from the spring head. Now it costs nothing to use the boat launch, but it does cost 20 bucks to park. Hmm. So if someone drops you off and picks you up, you're golden. Otherwise it starts to be a pretty expensive day if you want to swim at the spring and paddle the spring run. Here are some more pro tips for visiting Salt Springs. Generally, the parks are seasonal. They open at 8 a.m. and close at sunset. They fill up fast on the weekends and in the summer months, so you'll want to be in line before 8 a.m. My favorite months to visit the springs are in the fall and winter. You'll have it almost all to yourself. Make sure you put Salt Springs Recreation Area in your GPS. Otherwise, you'll end up at the wrong spot. I always get asked about alligators. Yes, it's Florida and it's fresh water. So they are around. But if you stay off the banks and leave them alone when you do see them, you'll be fine. Fishing is allowed in the spring run. You'll see boats anchored just off the swimming area. There's a general store on the property, but depending on the day of the week and the time of year, it's not always open, so bring plenty of snacks. There are water fountains, showers, and real bathrooms. Salt Springs also has the largest campground in the Ocala National Forest. It has RV hookups and primitive camping. You have to make reservations online and they book well in advance. Don't forget bug spray. I swear the horseflies here are on steroids. Oh, if you see these big caterpillars, don't touch them. They look furry and friendly, but they've been known to cause rashes. That thing is huge! Man, that's a big ass caterpillar. One of the best things about Salt Springs is its location, so make sure you get out there and explore. Silver Glen, Alexander, 
juniper and fern hammock springs are also inside the Ocala National Forest. And you're just a short drive from Santos Mountain Bike Trails in Ocala. Zip the canyons. Rainbow River and Silver River, which is a must-see thanks to the wild monkeys. Yup, just another day in beautiful Florida. The Earth Charter is about working together to help create a healthier planet. And healthier springs, like salt springs. Special thanks to Earth Charter for sponsoring this video. Their education center at the University for Peace in Costa Rica offers sustainability and ethical leadership courses for everyone who wants to make a difference. It's easy to get started. Just use the link below. If you're interested in anything we talked about today or any of our merch, you can also find that in the description. Yes. We want our experiences to help make your next adventure epic. That's why we're out here. That's what Art of Adventure is all about. Come on. All that's left for you to do. Goodness. Tell them, babe. Just go get it. Go get it, y'all. Just go get it, guys. The springs are waiting.